So Hannah, elapids are a group of venomous snakes and unlike vipers that have fangs that could fold, elapids have fixed front fangs. The most well-known elapid is the king cobra of Southeast Asia. But did you know Trinidad has two native species of elapids as well? The Micrura circinalis, aka Trinidad coral, and the Trinidad ribbon coral snake. It also goes by the name larger coral, coreal, and serpent coreal, Micarus dioecious. This video is about the Trinidad ribbon coral snake. The Trinidad ribbon coral snake is one of the four highly venomous snakes found in Trinidad. None has been found in Tobago, but you can also find them in many South American countries as well. Their colors are very stunning and some people have often mistaken the false coral or forest flame snake Oxyphorus petularis and the water coral Hydrops strangularis for this species. Now if you observe the colors it goes in this pattern red black white black white black red but interestingly enough individuals of this same species have yellow bands instead of white bands it's just genetics. Many times I've heard people say, this one have yellow bands, this one's safe. But it's actually the same species. Oh, and let's not forget the classic North American rhyme. This red touching black friend Jack, this yellow kill fellow, blah, blah, blah. That only works for North America. That saying is useless in Trinidad, Central and South America. The species found here is not the same as the one found in North America. You can bounce up this species on the ground in forest savannas and damp marshy areas. Trinidad ribbon coral snakes is active mostly at night and overcast or rainy days. But because it is a boring semi-aquatic snake, it will spend most of its time, a lot of its time, under the leaf litter in reeds and underground. Just like the Trinidad coral snake, this species, the Trinidad ribbon coral snake, also lacks the ability to strike. It catches its prey by quickly sliding up to them and biting, keeping a hold on its prey and sometimes rolling until its venom take effect. Their diet includes insects, frogs and other snakes, including their own kind. But they will more go for snakes than the other prey items. Their breeding season is around January to May and they will lay two to five eggs around July to September in decomposing plant material in tunnels and termite nests. They can reach an average size of around four feet. If you ever come across the Trinidad ribbon coral snake, it will quickly move away. But if it feels trapped and in danger, it will try to hide its head under its body and raise its tail. They have developed that behavior because of predators that didn't get the message, well, the bright color message. The ignorant predator would mistake the raised tail for its head and grab it, leaving the head of the coral snake free to swing around and defend itself using its venom. Some people have asked me what are the benefits of this species in Trinidad and studies have shown coral snakes keep many other snake populations and their own in check. The Trinidad ribbon coral snake will do all that it can not to use its venom on humans. Personally, I find this snake cute and very beautiful. So, as you all know, I am the Wildlife Master. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, blessings and bless out.